everybody, welcome back to the channel, and that's right, G.I. Joe, Agent Helix, the Cobra Mole Rat, and Jody, Shooter, Craig, three action figures, one video, let's do it, let's take a look at G.I. Joe Helix box, there you got a picture of the figure on the front with some artwork, it's got all the accessories here, you got artwork on the side, you got the photo on the back that shows the height, almost five inches five feet nine inches it's box 104 then you got the mole rat and there you go he's the cobra mole rat and he's got all his accessories here some artwork here he's got some awesome artwork here he's got all his accessories here he's box 94 six feet three inches tall so he should be a little bit taller than agent helix and of course this night force jody shooter craig with her accessories here artwork you got the box number 90 the accessories on the back, and this looks cool. Let's take a look at these pictures. Uh, let's take a look at these figures because we know we got them out of the package. All right, so we got the three figures out of the package with the accessories. Oh, since Agent Helix was falling over, let's take a look at this figure first. There you go. You get a close up on the face. It's got some hair hanging down in front of the face, which is kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of that new Target exclusive Black Widow, how they had the one hairdo. The face sculpt looks good. The hair sculpt looks good. She comes with this little backpack piece that just holds her two katanas, which are actually kind of cool. The plastic, they're like a really soft plastic, but they didn't come up all bent. She's got this one sword and or this one sheathy knife, and I couldn't really figure out how to get it in this holster, so I just stuck it handle first, and it seemed to work out. She does have these really cool clip blades that go on her wrist, and they articulate so you can get full extension on them, so she can really uh, reach out and do some damage. They're actually really, really cool. She can have them up as swords, they can be stabbers, and then they can kind of retract back. You can see they don't really stay that tightly on the wrist, but that's the way they work. So she does have this belt that kind of free floats around and she's got these two uh, hip holsters that have these pistols. Now the problem that I had with these pistols besides how tightly they fit was they have this extended magazine, but unfortunately it's just a piece of rubber that doesn't actually come out. So you got this extended magazine and they didn't think about making the rubber come out and they didn't add any really good paint deco on that. But they did put some paint deco on the belt. You can see it there. So there's some silver and stuff like that. And that looks pretty cool. But the color scheme on this figure actually looks pretty decent. Look at that thing on the shoulder. It's all lit up. So she's got some pretty decent scheming. The thing I didn't like about this figure right out of the box was the way the legs were. If you see how this was, it was in the box. And this leg is just bent. So I'm going to have to reform that, but right out of the box, it was all bent up and it was pegged in there pretty good. So I don't know what happened in transit or how it got like that, but it just didn't seem to work out very well in that little box. So let's take a look next at the mole rat. This is him with his like mask head on. And you can see he's got this like breather piece right here that comes up and it plugs right into the side of the mask. And then he's got this other little hose that hooks on here and plugs right into the front. He's got these really cool pieces here that kind of keep the suit with its own environment in there. And of course he's got these big pieces here which have the um, pouches for different stuff. He comes with one lantern. It would be cool if this lit up, but of course they would have to say they're going to add all kinds of expense on that. His little Geiger counter piece or his um, chemical detector is just a basic piece of plastic with no uh, coloration or anything on there. And then um, he's got this like different color orange for the boots. That is pretty cool. So this guy's pretty neat. But I think one of the best parts about it is the head swap. If you pop that off, super easy. You get this like monsterish, like infected look, which is actually really, really cool. And then you can swap that out. Now I did have a problem. I did order a couple of them and I thought I was going to have an army. But when this guy came out of the package, this arm had just come off completely. And you can see it's kind of separated in there a little bit. And even if I go in there to try to force it back in, it doesn't stay at all. So I can put this like um, double joint thing back in there and I can shove this arm as far in there as I can and it will hold a little bit, 
but it just comes out. So that is strike two on the quality control over there at Hasbro. And then the mole rat also comes with this gun and this drill and this back piece pops off like that. And it fits on here like that. So you've got some interchangeability on there. So that is pretty cool for the mole rat. And then the last figure that we got up is Jody Shooter. Now that figure looks really, really cool. And you can see I have that hair sculpt on her. She does have this curved knife, right? It goes right up in here. And there's a little bit of a split in that little um, vest piece. So you can hold the knife. And then she does have one pistol down here that goes in her side. And of course, it's just a uh, plain plastic. Um, and then of course, she's got her sniper rifle on her back. And it's kind of interesting because the sniper rifle is just held on by this little piece here. This goes through the trigger and this just locks the sniper rifle into place. Now they did put this in its own cardboard inside of the box, but you can see what happened here with the barrel. Um, so I just wish they would use a little bit stiffer plastic when they're gonna make long guns like that because that gun is not really gonna shoot straight. So anyways, Jody looks fantastic there. And the way that you get this swapped, she came with an extra hairdo, which is kind of cool because it's got those uh, braids right across the top. I think that makes the figure look really, really cool also. And then she came with another piece that goes right over the top and she could have um, her hair with like a gas mask on. Now I almost wish the gas mask just came off independently and left that hair on there, but then we wouldn't get the extra hairdo. And I almost wish this was a different head, but I think they made it work. Other than that, you can see the detailing there on the um, vest looks really cool. It's very nicely form fitting. Um, I think it's way better than I've seen with uh, some other action figure lines because the sizing on these looks really fantastic. And then of course you got a uh, tattoo there and that looks really, really cool. So you got Jody, the shooter, you got the mole rat and you got Agent Helix right there. Now three really cool action figures from the GI Joe classified line. There were some issues with the quality control, but overall I think these figures are fantastic. And if you like them, you should add them to your collection. If you don't, don't worry about it. Anyways, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Keep on collecting and have a fantastic day.